Another deadly workplace shooting, this time at a Walmart. An employee opening fire on co-workers and on an officer. The suspect showing up early this morning targeting those fellow workers. He shot that officer too. They say that officer survived only because he had a bulletproof vest on. The gunman was shot. He did survive. He's now under arrest. Two co-workers are dead. Shaken employees gathered outside learning it was one of their own. And tonight, the heartbreak and the search for answers in South Haven, Mississippi. ABC's Steve Osinsami leads us off from the scene tonight. 6.33 this morning, customers who had just walked out of this 24-hour Walmart Supercenter in suburban Memphis say that the gunfire started in the parking lot, and then the man with the firearm ran inside the store. Kind of shook up over it, really. Once people realized what was going on, they all just flooded out. What was going on was yet another active shooter. And according to Walmart, the accused gunman was a disgruntled employee. Police have arrested 39-year-old Martez Abram, now charged with two counts of murder. His alleged victims are two men witnesses say he knew. Anthony Brown, the store's manager, and Brandon Gales, whose family says he worked for Walmart for 16 years. Both men were shot dead. Police arrived just minutes later. Two of our officers encountered the suspect out, outside on the west side parking lot of the building. One of our officers was shot at this time. The officer who was shot was saved by his bulletproof vest. The other officer fired and wounded the accused gunman who was hospitalized and needed surgery and remains in police custody tonight. And Steve Osinsami joins us live tonight from the scene of this shooting. And Steve, you've learned that the police there had just conducted active shooter training exercises. Yes, David, police here finished formal active shooter training just two weeks ago, and I just spoke with the mayor of this city who says that the accused gunman set a fire inside the store, so they're certain he intended to hurt more people and are thankful their officers shut him down. David, we are thinking about the people of South Haven tonight, Steve. Thank you. Two Walmart employees were fatally shot and a police officer was wounded at one of the retailer's stores in northern Mississippi before the gunman was shot by police, arrested, and taken to the hospital. DeSoto County Sheriff Bill Rasco told WATN-TV his condition is unknown. One of the victim's bodies was found in the Walmart, located in a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee, while the other was discovered in the parking lot, according to WHBQ-TV. Baptist Memorial Hospital DeSoto tells WATN-TV the wound officer did not suffer serious injuries after being struck in his bulletproof vest. We have an update for you on the deadly shooting at a Walmart in the Memphis area. According to our Memphis affiliate, two Walmart employees are dead after a disgruntled former employee opened fire in the South Haven store. WREG is also reporting that a South Haven police officer and the alleged shooter were injured. Officers have blocked off the area and are telling people to avoid it. Of course, we'll continue to follow the story and bring you updates as we get them.